Assalamualaikum and good day everyone So today we are still in subtopic periodicity So in this video, uh, by the end of this session You should be able to compare the atomic radius of an element to its corresponding ion And then we will be seeing the term isoelectronic species uh, And then we will compare the radius of isoelectronic species And we will analyze the variation of the ionic radii across period 2 and period 3 So previously we have learned about atomic radii, the trends of atomic radii across the period going down the group So for today's uh, video, uh, today's session, kita akan fokus lebih kepada ionic radii Okay, ion punya radius Okay, so first let's have a look dekat comparison antara at Term kepada ion dia Specifically, we'll be saying among cat ion to its corresponding atom Okay, so what's gonna happen here? Adakah the cat ion is larger or the the cat ion is smaller compared to the atom itself? So what happened is uh, cat ion is formed when an atom loses electron Okay, so kita fokus kepada nak hasilkan the most stable uh, cat ion kepada atom tersebut So when electrons are removed from the valence shell So the effective nuclear charge increases As a result, the remaining electron are pulled closer towards the nucleus So uh, due to the greater nucleus attraction Okay, sebab Z value tinggi tadi kan So, attraction forces dia pun tinggi juga So, the cations are always smaller than the atoms From which they are formed Okay, so for example, kalau kita tengok magnesium dengan Magnesium ion dengan magnesium Okay, so magnesium ion is smaller compared to magnesium And then, tadi kita dah mention about the effective nuclear charge increases So, let's try and have a look Betul ke increase sebenarnya Z dia Okay, so kalau kita tengok kiraan Z untuk magnesium atom So, magnesium atom kalau kita kira Z dia 12, tolak 10 Kita akan dapat positive 2 Okay, but then bila kita tengok pula untuk magnesium ion Magnesium ion dia remove dua elektron daripada valence elektron dia kan Okay Lepas tu yang sekarang ni bila kita try kira Z dia So proton number dia masih lagi 12 Okay, tapi as you can see The number of inner shell elektron dia berbeza Compared to yang atom punya Kan, kalau yang atom tadi dia ada 10 Tapi bila kita tengok based on the electronic configuration of the magnesium ion Now dia punya inner shell electron only tinggal 2 je Okay, only 2 are left Therefore, bila 12 atau 2, kita akan dapat positive 10 So as we can see here, the Z value increases for the cat ions Menyebabkan attraction forces lagi kuat So dia akan pull the uh, valence electron closer towards the nucleus So that is why cat ion will always be smaller than the atom itself Okay uh, Then kalau kita tengok pula Antara uh, Yang ni uh, Just nak tunjuk lah uh, Comparison size Between atom Dengan dia punya corresponding uh, Cat ion dia Okay And then kalau kita tengok pula Between an ion And its corresponding atom So kalau cat ion tadi Kita remove electron Tapi an ion pula kita Gain electron Okay, and kita akan masukkan elektron into the same shell, kan? Okay, so an ion form when, when an atom receive electron. Okay, so when more electrons are added to the same shell, the mutual repulsion between the electron increases. Sekarang ni kita cakap pasal mutual repulsion class. Mutual repulsion because elektron dia dah selesa dah. Dekat dia punya Apa ni Dia dalam Dalam circle dia kan Dia dah selesai dengan circle dia Tapi and then Eh tiba-tiba ada satu lagi Elektron nak masuk So Elektron dan elektron Of course They will repel to With one another kan So bila dia akan repel With one another So dia tolak, 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 tolak Menyebabkan The attraction forces Between Nucleus And also Elektron Jadi Lemah Okay Menyebabkan dia akan jadi macam Okay, makin jauh dan Okay So, just try imagine like Kalau kamu ada Kamu tengah duduk dalam satu bulatan Right? Okay And then, bila kawan kamu seorang lagi Nak masuk kat dalam tu Dia pun nak duduk kat situ juga So, apa yang kamu buat? Kamu akan try bagi space kat dia kan Kamu semua macam Eh, okay, 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 okay. Besarkan bulatan, besarkan bulatan Besarkan bulatan Okay So, benda tu juga yang berlaku dekat Kita punya elektron sebenarnya Okay So, elektron are pushed apart Due to the weaker nucleus attraction So, the size of an ion are larger than its corresponding neutral atom So dekat sini kelas kita tak pakai Lazaf, kita tak pakai shading effect Tapi bila kita explain pasal uh, Anion, kita compare Dengan atom dia sendiri, we will talk About mutual repulsion between the Electrons, okay, between the valence Electron, 
Uh, so itu yang kita akan cakap lah. So yang ni slightly different compared to apa yang kita dah belajar sebelum ni. Okay, jadi for example kita ada oxide ion dengan oxygen atom. So oxide ion akan jadi lagi besar lah compared to dia punya atom. So ini secara generalnya kalau kita tengok comparison antara atom dengan anion dia. So as you can see the anion part semua lagi besar compared to dia punya atom. Okay. So nanti kamu boleh try buat try this 4.0 ni. Uh, boleh Uh, try to have a look at this lah on your own ok so in conclusion class kalau miss gabungkan apa yang kita dah belajar sebelum ni and also apa yang kita baru belajar tadi so across a period more proton more zef therefore nucleus attraction sorry attraction forces become stronger so become smaller and the size become smaller untuk atom kita ok across a period kalau down the group pula the principal quantum number increases ok jadi the electron become further apart so less attraction dekat situ so it becomes larger ok tapi kalau yang kita baru belajar tadi kelas so cat ion it loses electron loses electron means more zef so more zef means more attraction so it become smaller Okay, so cat ion is smaller than its atom. Okay, meanwhile anion pula, atom gain electron meaning more repulsion dekat situ between the electron. So, the size becomes larger. Okay, alright. So, ini adalah bila yang kita tengok tadi uh, adalah antara atom kepada ion dia sendiri. Okay, tapi what if kita compare antara ion dengan ion sendiri pula. But before we go to ion dengan ion sendiri, so ada satu term yang Miss nak perkenalkan kamu which is isoelectronic. Okay, Miss nak perkenalkan dengan isoelectronic. So isoelectronic species, so atoms or ions with the same electronic configuration, configuration, are known as isoelectronic atoms ataupun ion. Okay, so the word iso itself means same and then electronic means electron. Okay, so dia ada sama bilangan elektron dia sebenarnya. Okay, so isoelectronic species is a group of atoms or ions with the same electronic configuration ataupun same number of electron. For example, kita ambil fluorine. So, fluorine atom, yang atas ni atom dia. Okay, ni atom dia. We can see that 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. Tapi bila dia jadi, dia punya stable ion, dia jadi F negative, right? So, dia jadi 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Which is actually the same electronic configuration dengan neon atom. Sebab tu ada neon dekat bawah ni. Okay, and then kalau kita tengok pula, sodium, sodium atom, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Bila kita tengok sodium ion pula, dia dah remove satu elektron, dia jadi 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Sama juga dengan neon. Okay, sekarang dia tinggal 8 elektron kan? Okay, dia tolak satu elektron, tinggal 8 elektron. Meanwhile, fluorine tadi pula, initially dia ada 7, uh, 9 elektron. Sorry, 10. 10 kat sini. Okay, so mula-mula dia, uh, so dia metam ada 11. Lepas dia tolak satu, tinggal 10 elektron. Meanwhile, fluorine pula, initially dia ada 9 elektron. Tapi lepas dia tambah satu, dia jadi 10 elektron juga. Okay, what else yang sama? Oksigen. Oksigen pun initially dia ada 8 Electron, tapi bila dia jadi oxide ion, dia jadi, dia gain 2 elektron, dia jadi 10 elektron. So, dia punya electronic configuration pun sama dengan neon. Okay, and then aluminium sendiri, uh, aluminium pun another example. Initially, dia ada 13 elektron, but then dia remove 3 elektron tu. So, sekarang dia tinggal di, uh, 10 je dia punya elektron. Okay, and semua ni, semua ion kat sini, semua ada sama banyak elektron kan, which is 10. Okay, so itu yang kita anggap sebagai iso, uh, since they have the same electron, electronic configuration. So, kita anggap dia sebagai isoelectronic ions to one another and they are basically isoelectronic to neon juga sebenarnya. Sebab semua tu sama je dengan neon punya uh, isoelectronic uh, sama dengan neon punya electronic configuration. Okay, so Miss Harap kamu faham dah sekarang ni what is isoelectronic species. They have the same electronic configuration ataupun the same number of electron. It might be between atom with ion or between ions itself. Okay. So, variation in ionic radii. So, yang ni kita boleh buat secara general terus lah. Uh, tak kisahlah untuk cat ion or be it an ion. Okay. So, secara generalnya sama aja. Okay. So, in general, across the period, the proton number increases. Okay. Proton number increases. So, yang tu kita tak boleh nak ubah. Proton number macam mana sekali pun, kiri ke kanan tetap akan increase juga. So, what happened to Zef? Zef akan increase juga. So, it leads to a greater forces of attraction between nucleus and also valence electron. Okay. So, the size of cat ions and anions akan decrease. Okay, jadi kat sini kita akan guna PISAS lah untuk explain pasal ionic radii across the period. Okay, 
So sama je macam Atomic Ready Eye dan guna pizzas. Yang ni pun guna, Ionic Ready Eye pun guna pizzas juga. So kalau kita specifically tengok untuk period tu. So period tu kita ada uh, daripada lithium sampailah fluorine. Okay. Kita tak tengok yang uh, noble gas punya elemen kita tak tengok. Okay. So untuk yang ni. Tak muncul lah graf kat sini. Okay. So kalau kamu boleh rujuk sini nota kamu. You can see that the trend of some, something like this lah. Okay, Miss pun tak tahu kenapa dia tak muncul. So, something macam ni. Allah Akbar. Okay, so sini ada lithium. Sini ada Be2+, Be3+, and then there's C4+, and then kita ada N3-, O2- dengan F-. Okay, so kita boleh nampak yang ada ini adalah proton numbers me yang x axis ni proton number yang y axis ni adalah punya radius okey so uh, we can see that uh, the size of the cations among cations we can see that the trend across period become smaller betul tak kan sebab pizza tadi self increase attraction forces increase so size become smaller sama juga among anions pun we can see that uh, daripada kiri ke kanan okey so the size become smaller Okay, sebab Zeph increases. So, bila Zeph increases, bermaksud uh, attraction forces increase. So, size become smaller. And then, you can see a very big jump between C4 plus dengan N3 minus, right? Nanti kita tengok kenapa sebenarnya kat sini. Okay, apa yang berlaku? Kenapa ada big jump dekat sini? But first, let's try and have a look dekat uh, the trend of anions yang ada dekat sini. So, kita ada N3 minus, O2 minus dengan F minus. Okay, tadi Miss ada mention about Zeph increase, right? Okay, so kita just try buktikan then. Okay, so by now you should know that all of these three ions here, they have the same electronic configuration which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 after they have gained uh, electrons. So, nitrogen gains 3, oxygen gain 2 fluorine gain 1. Okay, so they have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Now, dia orang punya electronic configuration. So, the total number of electron ada 10. And then, bila kita kira the Zeph class, kita kira Zeph, so, dapatlah positive 5, positive 6, positive 7. Macam mana dapat ini? Sebab 7 tolak 2. Dapat positive 5. Yang ni 8 tolak 2, dapat positive 6. Ini dapat 9 tolak 2, dapatlah positive 7. Tolak the number of inertial electron. Berapa inertial electron kita? Yang 1S2 tu je kan Ada 2 je elektron dekat bahagian dalam sekarang ni Okay So we can see that ah, Okay daripada sini Zeph nampaklah increase tu sebenarnya So logic lah untuk kita guna Pizzas punya point dekat sini Okay So Within the isoelectronic species The more negative the charge The larger the species Okay So itu boleh jadi hint jugalah Lagi besar charge dia Kalau negatif ion Lagi besarlah species tersebut sebenarnya Okay, so the electronic configuration are the same which is 1s2 to s2 to p6 meaning there are isoelectronic species to one another. So the proton number increases from n3 to f minus. The effective nuclear charge also increases. Then the force of attraction between nucleus and valence electron getting stronger. So the electrons are put closer to the nucleus. So the ionic radius decreases from n3 minus to f minus. Ini adalah among uh, anion. You can also apply the same thing untuk kita punya yang cat ion punya. Tapi untuk yang cat ion, miss tak guna contoh untuk period 2. Kita akan tengok contoh dalam period 3 pula. Okay. So period 3 ni pun muncul tak dia punya graph ni. Okay. Dia ni pun tak muncul juga. Okay. Tapi sepatutnya dalam nota kamu dah ada. Okay. So something macam ni class. Um... So, sini ada Na+, ada Mg2+, ada Al3+, ada Si4+. Okay. So, kita boleh nampak trend dia menurun. Okay. Trend of the size of ionic ray di kat sini menurun. Tapi, bila antara Si4+, pergi kepada P3-, we can see that ah, ada a big jump dekat situ. So, kenapa nanti? Sabar sekejap. Okay. Nanti kita akan tengok juga yang tu. So, kalau kita tengok among anion sendiri pula, ah, tadilah macam yang tadi kita baru discuss tadi. Ah, because of the Zeph increases, getting stronger, so smaller size then. Okay. So sekarang ni kita tengok pula uh, what about the apa? Macam mana kita nak explain yang pasal K 
Cat Ion kat sini pula Okay So yang ni boleh apply juga dekat yang period 2 punya tadi Kita ada lithium tadi Ada uh, boron semua tu tadi kan uh, So yang tu pun boleh apply kat situ juga So kalau kita tengok kat sini Kita tengok fokus dengan uh, NF plus sampai SI4 plus So they have the same electronic configuration class Which is 1S2, 2S2, 2P6 Sama dengan yang tadi kita baru tengok N3 minus O2 minus F minus. So those three anions yang dekat period 2 and also these cations in period 3, they are isoelectronic species to one another. Okay, sebab so, electronic configuration dia sama. So yang tadi uh, kita punya ion yang tadi dia gain electron, yang ni pula kita remove electron dia. So dapatlah 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. And then bahagian Zeph ni mesti tak tunjuk dah lah calculation dia. Okay, tapi if kamu kira kan, and then kita boleh nampak, oh okay, from left to right, the Zeph value increases from positive 9 sampai lah positive 2 plus. Okay, so within isoelectronic species pula, kalau untuk yang positive ion, okay, so the larger the size of the positive ion, somehow untuk yang ni, the smaller the species. Dia terbalik dengan yang anion tadi. Anion tadi, the larger the value of the charge, Jadi lagi besar kan? Ah, tapi yang ni the larger the value untuk positive charge ni, the smaller the species. Okay. So uh, the electronic configuration are the same untuk keempat-empat kita punya species ni. 1S2, 2S2, 2P6. So the proton number increases from Na plus sampai lah Si4 plus. So the effective nuclear charge also increases making the forces of attraction between Nucleus and also valence electron ha, Dah banyak kali dah dengar ni ulang-ulang-ulang-ulang kan Mesti harap benda tu melekat dah kepada kamu So bila Zeph increase Forces attraction pun become stronger Okay So the electron will be pulled closer towards the nucleus So the size become smaller from Na plus sampai lah Si4 plus Okay Alright so that's it Untuk bila kita tengok among cat ion Among anions Okay, tapi what about yang big jump tu tadi? Okay, so why is the size of the ion Si4 plus is smaller than P3 minus uh, ion? It's smaller than P3 minus ion. Uh, okay, ini kita balik kan ni. Okay, alright. So kenapa? Kenapa boleh nampak ada big jump tu tadi? Ya, dekat period three, dekat period two pun kita boleh nampak antara C four plus dengan N three minus kan? Okay. So the same explanation kita boleh guna. Okay, untuk yang dalam period two punya. Okay. So S four plus kalau kita tengok dia punya electronic configuration one S two, two S two, two P six. Okay. So the Z untuk yang ni adalah fourteen minus two, so equals to positive twelve. Itu untuk Si4+. Meanwhile, kalau kita tengok kepada P3- pula, dia punya uh, electronic configuration dia adalah R1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6. Okay, so the Z untuk yang ni 15 minus 10. Okay, so ini adalah the inner shell. Ini untuk inner shell untuk yang um, Si4+. Okay, P3 minus ada satu je inner shell dia. P3 minus ada dua inner shell dia. So, bila ada berbeza inner shell, bermaksud the number of uh, electrons in the inner shell pun berbeza juga. So, you can see that number of inner shell, number of the inner shell electron untuk Si4 plus ada dua je. Tapi, the number of uh, the inner shell electrons for P3 minus ada 10 in total. So, bila kita kira Zef, uh, satu dapat positive 12, satu lagi positive 5. So, siapa lagi besar punya Zef dia? Si4 plus lagi besar. So, bila Zef besar, what happen? Attraction forces become stronger. So, bila stronger, what happen? The size become smaller. Okay? Uh, so, reason dia adalah the Zef of the Si4 plus higher than P3 minus. So, the attraction forces between the nucleus and valence electron is stronger so the size of SI4 plus is smaller than P3 minus or kita ada tengok pasal initial tadi kan bila kita cakap pasal initial ni kita boleh kaitkan dengan shielding effect kan kalau kita tengok initial untuk SI4 plus ada satu je meanwhile P3 minus initial dia ada dua jadi for this case class you want to use ZEF boleh you also can use screening effect 
ataupun shielding effect okay so the screening effect of p3 minus is higher than si4 plus so attraction of nucleus towards valence electron is weaker in si4 plus thus the size of p3 minus is bigger than si4 plus then okay uh, so untuk yang big jump tu you can use either zef or uh, shielding effect untuk explain lah and show the electronic configuration so that kamu boleh lagi nampak jelas dekat situ beza shell ataupun beza zef dia dekat situ okay so kamu nanti boleh try untuk buat soalan try this 5.0 so nanti boleh try tengok apa soalan yang dia tanya ni lah jadi secara conclusion yang kelas kalau among cation basically among cation in the same period ya yeah, in the same period they have the same number of electron or electronic configuration okay so across the period basically what happen is the z value increases so nucleus attraction increase okay and then size of the ionic decrease across the period so what the but among anion among anion pun kita fokuskan the one that have this in the same period okay bila dia dalam same period so meaning they have they have the same number of electron ataupun electronic configuration dia sama okay so across the period the effective nucleus charge increase or the nucleus uh, and the nucleus attraction become stronger so the size become smaller untuk kita punya anion okay so what about kalau kita compare antara anion dengan cation okay yang penting adalah dia kena dalam period yang sama okay kita compare the one yang dalam period yang sama. So basically kita boleh guna ZEF juga sebenarnya ok. So sama ada kamu nak cakap pasal the ZEF of anion is smaller or you can also use pasal shielding effect or screening effect of the anion is higher than cat ion. Up to you. Nak pilih yang mana-mana ok. Either one of this nanti dia akan berkait pula dengan nucleus attraction. Still the dua tu nucleus attraction uh, jadi weaker so the size of anion is bigger than cat ion. Or you can do it the other way around Okay, kalau kamu nak cakap ZEF of cation is uh, higher than anion, boleh. Semua maksud, uh, dia punya attraction forces stronger. So, the size of cation is smaller than anion. Boleh, tak ada masalah. Uh, okay, ataupun kamu nak cakap so screening effect. Screening effect of cation is smaller than, eh sorry, is larger. Larger, right? Anion, anion, cation. Err... Uh, Oh, sorry, uh, shielding effect kalau untuk cat ion, it is smaller. Okay, it is smaller. So, dia punya attraction forces pun jadi lagi kuat. So, the size uh, is smaller untuk cat ion compared to the anion. Okay, tapi yang syarat, benda yang dalam period yang sama lah. Okay, so that's it untuk bahagian ionic ready eye class. So, don't forget to do your try this 4.0 and also 5.0. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.